Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a challenging exponential equation on the board. How to solve exponential equations having variable exponents. And the question reads, bracket open x plus 1 close bracket to the power of x times e to the power of x plus 1 equal to bracket open minus x all over e bracket close all to the power of x. What there will be the possible value of x. Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. The reason why you have to subscribe is because at Online Mass TV, we drop nice videos all the time. Okay, now without much waste of time, let's go into today's um, challenge. So we put down our solution, which is our question. Okay, so the question again, it says bracket open x plus one close bracket x dot e to the power of x plus one equal to the bracket open minus x all over e r to the power of x. Good. Now the exponent that's where we have our x and also have x at the base too. So what we do here, the first thing we're going to do is to um, take the s root of both sides of the equation. In other words, let's multiply each exponent by 1 all over x. So if we do that, you know, we're going to have the whole of the left-hand side to be your um, bracket up in your x plus 1 plus bracket to the power of x dot your e to the power of x plus 1, okay? close bracket okay let's use a square bracket here into our square bracket raised to power one all over x equal to we do same here so we have here bracket minus x all over e close bracket to the power of x or into our square bracket raised to one all over x now according to the law of indices we say that if you have your um, if you have a okay dot b r to the power of x this is equal to a to the power of x dot b to the power of x so if we do that here we have to use this exponent to open up every exponent here and this to open up everything here and so if we go by that we will have this to be our x plus one close bracket because this we cancel this and this we cancel this so here we left with your e to the power of one plus one all over x equal to we do same t here this this will leave so we're left with minus x all over e good let's try to look at what we have at this exponent here our e is raised to one plus one all over x and here we're having uh, the variable at the base here too so i tried out using this e to multiply both sides of the equation but it gave me much trouble and so what we do here is easy at this point let's divide by x so if we divide both sides by x we're going to have the whole of this all over x then the whole of this all over x so what will become of our expression so we're going to have this to be your x plus one all over x close bracket then into our e to the power of one plus one all over x equal to here this this will leave so we are left with minus one all over e okay let's continue on this other side of the board now we can use this to divide this use this to divide this and so we'll be left with one plus one all over x on this other side why doing that is because at this exponent we want to achieve what we have at the exponent here okay that is the aim of doing that so that we can introduce the lambert w function to this side of the equation and also we can equally rewrite this side of this equation according to the reciprocal law of indices and so this side of the equation will now becomes your one plus one all over x close bracket dot e to the power of one plus one all over x okay easy equal to if we rewrite this we're going to have this to be minus one dot e to the power of minus of one 
I just apply the uh, law of indices to this part of the equation. The law which say that if you have your, um, let's say, 1 run all over a to the power of x, this is equal to a to the power of minus x. That is what I applied here. That actually brought this into uh, this picture. Okay, now look at the beauty of the whole thing now playing out now. What we have at the exponent, same thing we have at the base here. What we have at the exponent here, same thing we have here. So we cannot introduce the lambda w function to this equation, to both sides of the equation. What does the lambda w function say? It says that if you have your, um, let's say, uh, p, okay, dot your e to the power of p, then if you take the lambda w function of this, then this will give us p. So, if we introduce the lambda w function to this, then we're going to have this to be our lambda w function of 1 plus 1 all over x, bracket close dot e to the power of 1 plus 1 all over x. Okay? Then let's put this in bracket, in the square bracket rather, equal to the lambda w function of the left-hand side also, minus 1 dot e to the power of minus 1 all in bracket. Good. Now, according to the law, here we're going to ha have the left-hand side to be 1 plus 1 all over x. Meanwhile, on this other side, minus 1. Okay, so let's erase this. Let's erase this and forge ahead. So, the left-hand side, like I said, is going to give us here 1 plus 1 all over x equal to minus 1. Easy. So, what we do here, connect this one to this other side. So, we have here 1 all over x equal to minus 1, minus 1, which is equal to minus 2. So we have 1 all over s is equal to minus 2. If you multiply through by x, this will give us 1 equal to minus 2x. Therefore, our x is equal to, we are divided by minus 2, is equal to minus 1 all over 2. Q, E. Like I said earlier, I said your x cannot be 0 and it cannot be more than 0. But from here, let's check if the answer we got here, minus 1 all over 2, we satisfy this, our equation. Check. So from here, wherever we see our x, we put in minus 1 all over 2. So first one we're going to have here to be minus 1 all over 2, plus 1, close bracket, to the power of minus 1 all over 2, dot e to the power of your minus 1 all over 2, Blocks 1 equal to the bracket open minus bracket minus 1 all over 2 plus bracket all over e or to the power of minus 1 all over 2. Easy. So if we carry out the arithmetic here, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2. So we have here to be 1 all over 2 or to the power of minus 1 all over 2 dot your e. The same thing here, we're going to have here to be 1 all over 2 equal to. Yeah, minus times minus will give us plus. So we we'll have here 1 all over 2, okay? Uh, close bracket all over e all to the power of minus 1 all over 2. Easy. What I want to do here, I want to use this power to open up what I have in here now. So this power will multiply this, this power will multiply this exponent. So if we go by that, again, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2 all to the power of minus 1 all over 2 dot e to the power of 1 all over 2, then equal to your 1 all over 2 to the power of minus 1 all over 2, all over your e to the power of minus 1 all over 2. Let's continue on this other side. Good. If you look at this, I want to multiply true by e to the power of minus 1 all over 2. So if I multiply both sides by it, I'm going to have this to be 1 all over 2, R to the power of minus 1 all over 2 dot e to the power of um, 1 all over 2 that times your e to the power of minus 1 all over 2 equal to here we're left with 1 all over 2 r to the power of minus 1 all over 2. Good. So from here you discover that this will go with this. So the left hand side will left with your 1 all over 2 r to the power of your minus 1 all over 2 equal to here we're left with 1 all over 2 r to the power of minus 1 all over 2. Okay, so this shows that the answer to our 
challenging exponential equation using the lambda w function is correct, which is our uh, um, x equals to minus 2. So we said x equal to minus 1 all over 2, rather, is 100% correct. All right. So if you learned something good from this um, challenge, drop it in the comment section. Or you're not clear in the process of um, solving this challenge, also drop it in the comment section. Again, this is Online Math TV, where we learn mathematics every day. We have fun learning mathematics all the time. Remember, I love you. And every one of us at Online Math TV love you because you are always there. Bye for now.